and welcome to O Plattery Videos. Uh, this is AJT Mandala Artist. Follow me on Instagram at Artistry and Craft. Just really quick video because there have been quite a few posts recently online about the transfer punch set. This is a transfer punch set. Um, as you might now be able to see, the way to use it is upside down. If you use them the way around that they will come, there's actually a point on the end it's quite a big point and you don't want to be using that because um, that's not going to give you the circle that you want it's the opposite end then also when they arrive they're actually quite greasy that's from the machining process so you want to wipe that grease off before you use them um, I store mine upside down in the set that they came in so they came in this little blue tray I've also taken out the smallest one and move them all up one size because it just gives me a little bit more room to play with when I'm trying to get them out because otherwise they can be quite tight. Um, smallest one is actually 0.3 of a millimetre or 1 16th of an inch. The largest one is about sort of 20 millimetres theoretically somewhere between 18 and 20 and half an inch in size. It's a big hefty um, piece to work with. So just to give you an idea of the different sizes, I've got a piece of card here. I'm going to move the transfer punch a little bit out of the way and then zoom into the piece of card so that you can see that rather than the transfer punches. Excuse me, I'm still, as you can see, learning the delights of this video camera. I haven't quite got it there yet. There we go. Um, and I'm just going to do a couple of different sizes. I'm not going to do every size because that would be the best part of 30 different um, transfer punch dots. But just to give you an idea of kind of the biggest and the smallest to start off with, um, I'm going to use quite a dark purple colour because that stands out the best on the paper. So small dot with the smallest possible punch. I then wipe on to one of my rather disgusting tissues but it means that I don't have to clean them all at the end otherwise you spend hours cleaning. Um, the biggest one, the great big then. Um, so nicely coated in paint you can see there we go and the difference in size then between the largest and the smallest is there. Um, I find that this big one doesn't always coat well, as you can see, even with the paint um, actually kind of thinned down as much as possible. So what I will then do is I'll get one of the manicure styluses and actually just move it around within that space to try and kind of cover all of it. Sometimes I'll also go back a second time because you don't always get, as I say, despite coating the um, transfer punch of paint, you don't always get the best coverage from them because they're quite big to work with, those really large ones. They're actually pretty hard to work with as well. So we've got the biggest and the smallest. I then personally find that it's the next sort of small ones here that I tend to use more than any because they give me a nice range of sensible sizes that I can then dot walk around. I rarely use these big ones um, simply because I personally, you can see already, I find them too big. So if I then skip one size, I'll do the smallest of again and then kind of go up from there. So we've got smallest, there it is. And then I've skipped a size gone up and I'll skip a size again and go up you can see these are getting bigger skip a size again everyone I've skipped obviously goes in between the sizes I'm showing you so there's that one skip one size again You can see the action with these is quite practiced as well. Uh, skip one size again, and I'm getting up to the kind of the maximum size I personally use. Nice, good coating of paint. 
put it down and almost rock it backs and forwards a little bit to make sure you've got that coverage. So you can see that they get pretty large pretty quickly. So this time um, I'll skip one, two, three, four, five. This is tends to be the biggest that I then use. Um, I personally don't like using them much bigger than this because it's very difficult, I find, to get even coverage of paint. Even this one sometimes doesn't want to work it has on today. So I'll have to go back in with my stylus and just kind of move that paint around a bit so that I've got a reasonable coverage across the entire dot. But later on I will go back in and re-dot over that if it was on a piece of work that I was then going to be using. Okay, so transfer punch set. Great for making big dots, great for making same size dots. Um, technique takes a little bit of time to get used to and you have to be certain of the size that you're using. So I will use one size and I then what I'll do is I'll actually turn it round in the little tray so the pointed end is pointing up because that then allows me to know that I've used that one so when I'm top dotting I'm going to go for a one that is a couple of sizes smaller that's why I tend to skip at least one each side time because then when I top dot I can go back to one that is in between the one that I've actually put down and the one that I want to top dot with it allows me that flexibility of size without having the difficulty with the um, stylus to get the in-between sizes onto the piece of paper or the cardstock or the pebble or whatever it is I'm actually dotting on at that point in time. Um, things to remember do clean them before you use them. If you don't, you're going to end up with machine oil all over your work because they are machined. Um, that's how they get that shape. You want to turn them round so that the pointed end, you can see the okay, okay, pointed end, the pointed end is actually pointing into the tray that they come in. Um, that pointed end is very sharp. You don't want to get your fingers on it. And it's very easy to actually get your hand on that while you're trying to pull one out. Um, I personally, as you see, find that skipping a size each time is better for me because then when I'm top dotting, I can go back in to the size I didn't use and put that in place. OK, so transfer punch set ranges from, as I said, 0.2 millimetres up to, I think my biggest one, as I said, is about half an inch. Um, it looks like it's about, not 20 millimetres, as I said earlier, but about 14 or 15 millimetres in size. It's big, um, but a lot harder to work with than the smaller ones. There we go. Transfer punch set. Hopefully you enjoyed that and I'll see you all soon. Bye bye.